So this is my crew, he's our test pilot for the missile and it's been a project, I mean, it's almost like a seven year project now. And uh, what we've done is we've moved the missile channels backwards and forwards to see you know, what the different you know, uh, reactions are. So this is where we are today. So we, um, what happens is that the concave comes in here and it actually twists into like a propeller and then goes off the back. So that gives you the lift, gives you the grip and, uh, and Mike's a dynamic surfer. He's tested in all conditions and I'm totally amazed. Uh, this w well, last winter, he took it to the extreme cave rock and all the, the coastal breaks and I could see there wasn't any, any uh, negative things about the, the model. Yeah. Maybe Mike can give us a little bit more from, from himself. So Spider, it's been in development for seven years. Yes, yes. And um, I, I've been involved with uh, the board going on three years yes. now in this particular yes. design. And um, this, is, this is my all-round small wave board. So I, t I, I write this in anything from one foot up to, up to about six foot. Um, I use uh, something, I use a step up or a six eight when it gets a little bit more chunky. But um, this is the, the, the end result of about four or five boards that yes, we've, we've, yes. we've worked. Yeah. So what is the difference on this one, Spider, compared to the, the previous couple? Because I remember the midpoint here, we moved the volume a little bit further forward. Because yes. um, I was struggling to just get into the waves. Yes. And um, uh, the, moving it slightly forward like it made it slightly easier to paddle and to yes. get into it. Yes. But then once you're on the wave, um, there's a definite sense of lift in the board yes. and, and, yes. and drive. Yeah. And that's what seems to give this board so much, um, it's, it's very, very dynamic. Yes. So, what we, so what we've done is we've, we've got the rock exactly to push it to its limit so you can't get any better. It's clean, clean right through from nose to tail. And then, uh, then, we, and then we worked on the thickness, uh, put a little bit of thickness under the chest and thinning out the back, because you know the boards definitely have a lot more speed. So you, you need to be able to bury that tail. So there's no chance you can have a, a thicker tail in, like in the back there. So, so the rails are totally foiled. So when I shape, I feel that foil right through. Yeah. Then, then comes to, to, to the bottom deck. So what we've done is, it used to be deep at the back, so now we've changed and we just moved it up a little bit because the front foot surface felt that with it being too far back, they couldn't get the speed under their front foot, so we, we pushed it up as, 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 as high as we could. And now, now the crazy thing is, um, you know, we've got normal rails, we haven't got softer rails, and, and the ones I'm doing now are really dished out here, yeah. and then they, they start to level off. So what it does, it's giving that propeller, that propeller reaction. So the board lifts up, but it's still got the grip. Yeah. And and the and Spider, it, the the top deck looks the top deck seems pretty traditional. Yes. Um, there, yes. There's not uh, an enormous difference, like or certainly not noticeable yes. if you look at it on the top deck. Yes. But um, when you when you when you turn the board over, yes. Um, I've been referring it to to these things as flutes. Yes. Yes. And um, it's it's difficult to see um, like in a camera. Yes. But there's almost uh, like what like half an inch. Of, of this fluted rail yes, that comes yeah. out like that. Yeah, so it's got a concave with a concave inside of that as yeah, well. Yeah. So, um, so we, what we do is we get it to the sweet spot. So this, this deeper in the front here, uh, what it allows you to do is, uh, is to get more speed and also more control. So when, you, when you're in choppy conditions, it, it splits, yeah. it's like a catamaran, it splits yeah. the, the chop. And the other thing too is when you do your last maneuver, so you do your, your close out maneuver, you land it, now you can, you can hit another bottom turn yeah. and climb the foam and do a proper maneuver. So, you, so even when the waves are closing out, you, you've got that advantage yeah. of scoring more points if you're a contest surfer. So, um, so that if you look at uh, Ital Pereira, you see how low he gets down and, and you're the same. You very, your, your center of gravity is very low, which works well for this. So, yeah. so what I do is when I, when, I, when I advise customers or team riders, when you take off, pull that turn at the top there, what it does is it just kicks you with, that, with the power, you're turning on the power zone, from there you bank off, you hit your bottom, now you can do whatever you want. Um, and we, we try and create as much speed as possible by, by just taking it out more and more until we, every, every model we do, or every board I do for a customer or a team rider, I take a little bit more out to see where the limit, how, how far we can push the limit. 
but uh, hey, it's working out well so far. I don't know. No, no, it's, it, it makes a massive difference. So yeah. with having that little bit extra volume here, yeah, you yes. get into the yes. wave earlier. And then I find it's off, off the bottom and then also right in the pocket yes. where, where it's quite steep. Yes. It's very squirty, so yes. it goes in there. Yes. And um, often at, uh, in a section sort of on a back end turn, especially when you're hooking it right in the pocket there, sometimes the tail would flare out and you'd yes. lose it. Yes. Whereas this seems to like really hold in yes. the pocket. Yes. Um, and it's the same on the bottom too. Yes. So you can take off super late yes. and then it uh, grabs it grabs the bottom like yes. that. Yeah. On um, and then same as what you were saying on the close out turns. Yes. You can go up quite late and yes. because it's quite it's quite dynamic like yes. that, um, you generally are making turns that um, with a bit of that speed and going through it that, that maybe you weren't making before. Yes. So um, it's it's very it's very dynamic. Yes. What what how did you come up with the development initially? So compared to boards like what seven years ago? So what I did was that we went down to J Bay for the Legends meeting um, in 2014, and I saw Derek Hahn there riding finless, and I thought, wow, well, I got to do that. So I, I just did a quick, I grabbed a blank, just chopped it up, and and shaped out this kind of shape on the bottom, hoping that would work as a finless. But then I found, sure, the finless is way too too difficult to ride, and, yeah. and I couldn't see any pros using it on the tour. Um, it was a good. Uh, it's a good thing that, that Derek's doing something different. It makes us think, but you know the pros could never ride in a contest and stuff like it. So then I put fins on, and wow, what a what a difference! Then I felt that little bit of extra magic, yeah. and I knew I wanted something there. So I just kept you know, yeah. every year, and we just adjusted, and, and team riders gave me feedback, and everything's been positive. There's never been a bad board, really. Yeah. And, and in the development of the missile, yeah. um, which areas have sort of progressed the, the most from that very first uh, um, sort of experiment board? Yeah, so what, what's, what's happened used to be deeper here, which was great, it could hold and... and so that's come more forward? So, so we've taken that more forward, and then from that, as, as you're shaping, you know, you're always looking for that, that magic. And so what I found was that propeller example works. So, so in other words, it starts, it starts here like that, and then it... it it sort of it comes out and it twists into the into the tail there. Yeah. So it gives you that lift and also gives you you know the best of both worlds. So it gives you that grip, the speed. Yeah. And when, when you get on the board, you, you ride these boards a lot in the morning. Yes. And when you get on it the very first time, it does feel a little bit foreign. It's it's very different yes. to something you've seen yes. before. Yes. And initially, I um, I wasn't sure. Yes. But um, I just had to get my head around yes. how, how different it was. Yes. Which took maybe a session or two, and yes. then once you understand yes. where the board's sort of going, yeah. hey, then it was it was really good. And yeah, if if you look at what the goals are, you don't want to be you want to be on the rail. That's the fastest place. You know, you look at Tel Ferreri, you just see he's, he's on the rail the whole time, yeah. getting a speed and Philip Toledo, they all do the same thing. Yeah. And Gabriel. And that, that's what that's what the, the design wants to do. So it makes a lot of sense to have that on the rail. So when you when you're on the rail, you can feel that that acceleration and, and everything going on there. That's that's making the board feel dif different. And also, it's also um, surfing into the unknown. You know, yeah. where you can do a lot of new different things. So it's very exciting. And Spider, with the um, with the fluted rails like this. Yeah. Does it make uh, uh, and coming out like that? Yeah. Does it make any difference? Um, to the, the strength of the board. Like yes. how, how have you seen yes. in terms of snap boards coming in and, and this type of model and creased boards and that sort of thing? Because this is my, um, I think this is my fourth or fifth yes. small wave yes. missile. Yes. And um, I actually, I haven't creased any, I haven't yeah. snapped any. The Obviously the bigger ones are different because you're dealing with heavier heavy, surf. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm not sure if it's just me. Yeah. You know, it does this yes. add an element of strength to you Well, think? that's like you get corrugated iron. You know? yeah. uh, so what, you know, you get flat iron, just flaps like when you corrugate it, it gives you that, that uh, more, more strength. So exactly what that does. So it does it almost like a corrugated iron kind of yeah. example, yeah. So it definitely gives you added, added a bit more strength there. Yeah. And of course the top deck as well. So, so what actually happens is, is you know, my um, sort of uh, master shaper that I look up to is Dick Brewer, and you know he's got he had those basics down where where his top deck rail follows almost follows the bottom deck, and I'm doing the same thing. So as it curves around, yeah. so so it's what's happening. The, you know the rail's doing that kind of thing, you know, opposed to yeah. that kind of thing. So. It's really, it's really going into an amazing area now. It's, it's really interesting yes. that you say Dick Brewer yes. because um, what you and I have done with this board is yes. to try and take it into a 6A to yes. 7O and right up to a 10O yes. um, sort of yes. uh, a big wave gun. 
and um, D uh, Dick Brewer has been very involved in, the, in those Hawaiian style boards for Sunset and, and those type From of things. Way back, way back. Way We're back. still doing great boards yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah, so. and, and you were telling me that uh, we'll have a look at the, the 6.8 um, uh, next. Yes. But, uh, so you've taken a lot of that Hawaiian style yes. um, uh, elements yes. and added it to the missile like yes. that and, and that's why we're seeing what, what exactly. we are in the 6A. Yes. Okay. Should we go on to the 6A? Yes, just let's bring it up, yeah. So Spider, this this is the 6A. Yes. Um, we were actually just in the middle of, of taking some wax off. Yes. It's, it's summer here at the moment, so we're not riding these boards too too much at the moment. Yes. But uh, he has all the old winter wax from our cave rock session last year and uh, I was just getting this board ready because it looks like we've got some cyclones, yes. cyclone swell coming yes. in the next in the next uh, week or two. Yes. I'll finish that off just now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so I must th say, this I is so this is the 6.8 spider yes, yes. and we were talking about um, taking those big wave Hawaiian style guns, yes. the, the big step ups, yes. and taking some of those elements into the missile. Yes. So again, it's um, the white point's a little bit forward because you're driving the whole time and then it allows you to make the tail a bit narrower so you don't slip out anything like that. And then, <clears throat> and you can see you've got some real good uh, dished out um, concaves here with the same concept, same concept turning into propeller. And I must say, uh, Michael, I was amazed that this board didn't catch rails from yeah. the, in the critical places that you were, especially, you know, dropping down those late takeoffs and we'll see in the video footage and, and coming off the top there, no catch at all. And even down the line, when you're screaming down the line there, there was no, you know, you, you were able to move freely and I was really amazed. So th this is the second, um, the second six eight yes. that I've had. Yeah. The first one um, we found was a little bit too. It was a little bit too uh, um, uh, narrow. Yes. Um, it didn't have enough thickness. And, and um, also in terms of paddling, it felt like you were pushing a little bit of water yes. trying to get onto those very yes, late drops. Yes. And over here, you made quite a big um, change yes. in terms of where the wide point is. Yes. And if you look at this board from the side, yes. it's, it's very, it's pretty wide here. Yes. Going down to a, a super narrow tail. And when when we did that on the on the computer, you were showing me those pictures of the Ultron Thompson boards for yes. pipeline. Yes. And uh, when you look at the board from the side, it definitely got that old Hawaiian style yes. sort of pro profile or yes. outline to it. Yes. Eh? Yes. So um, the, the, the fluted rails are spider, are they also pulled a little bit further forward? Yes, yeah. so, so, it's, so, it's, so it's all dished in here, so you can see this part cuts all the chop in that. And, and I think, you know, with it, with, with, when I saw you catching no rails, I was quite amazed, because a lot of guys do catch rails in critical sections like that. And so it, it tells me that this board was like riding on this little section here, and this was out the water. Mm. And it was also, um, it, was, it was just, planing so well but if I look from here it's very clean beautiful when we when if you look at some of the videos or yeah. to the bottom turns yeah. sometimes as much of that as that of the book yes a, as yes. much of that of the board is, yes. is sort of out the water yes yeah but um, at, at Cave Rock mm. in particular so this was the board I rode the whole of last winter yeah. probably had at least um, maybe 15 to 20 sessions on yeah, it sure. in um, solid 10, 10 foot, uh, odd sort of 12 foot day. Heavy, it was heavy And again, yeah. yeah, this is glassed um, <coughs> uh, double six ounce mm. and it, it, no creases. Yes. Um, I mean, there, there's not even a, hardly, a, yeah. hardly even a scratch on this yes, board. Yeah. Um, the board's about a year old, yeah. but it was pretty solid and yeah. it held its own very, very well out yes. there. Yeah, so you got one six ounce on the top, one six ounce on the bottom. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a wine style. Yeah. And to keep it light and also strong at the right. same time, yeah. Um, in spite of this board in particular, more than probably any board I've ridden before, holds its line nicely in a backhand mm. barrel. Yeah. And yeah. you know it's it's really difficult for for I mean it's, on your backhand it's quite difficult to get yes. into the barrel as it is. Yes, yeah. But basically as you come off the bottom and once you set that line, yeah. this one it just goes. It yeah. goes. Yeah. And uh, I promise you last last uh, season I had probably three that I came out of that um, I was super surprised I was like mm. normally you're like oh you're angling towards that end section yes. and, and you pop out and you're like yeah. no way that was yeah. amazing yeah and it, it must come down to the speed and drive that yes. this, this board yes. has and the hold as well yeah 
then if you if you holding your line and you start slipping slipping that's when you get nailed by the by the the waterfall of the lip but when you can hold hold your line like it and, and sort of just choose where you want to be and this is where this this helps a lot Spider, yeah. did you make any different um is there any difference in the in the lineup of the fins on the missiles or is it <clears throat> yeah most most of the missiles are just just off the you know probably uh, about two and a half inches off the nose um, where the where the trailing yes yeah yeah out. this this one yeah, this one lines up to about here which is your yeah, two and a half two and a half yeah and how does that compare to to the normal board so <clears throat> the, the normal board's exactly the same because you're doing maneuvers yeah but your big guns your tenor guns are I keep just all straight, so 16th in from straight. It's because you, I mean, you're just covering so much area and you're going so fast, you just can't afford to have the fins towed in too much. Yeah. So and, the, and, and Spider, have, do, does the missile definitely work best as a thruster setup? You haven't tried yes. it as a quad. I've tried it as a quad, but I did enjoy it. So Not I, the thruster is so nice. Yeah. Because you're, so you're turning off those fins, yeah. Yeah. And you've got, and you've got that back fin that, that's holding it as well. And Sean Thompson speaks about, because he rode singles, and you just said how how the the single fin helped him so much in the barrel, you know, when you especially that foam ball, yeah, you know, it could hold him, yeah. So what's what's interesting on this one too is this has got a swallowtail. Yes. And um, the first couple of uh, the the first couple of boards, the short uh, small way boards, which yeah. were five seven yeah. that we did, yeah. um, had the swallowtail. Yeah. But on the small way boards, we've gone to to more of a squash tail. Yes. Yes. Um, but we've kept the yes. swallowtail in these guys. Yeah. So. <clears throat> the solar tails for a little bit more speed. So as soon as we found we had enough speed in, in the small wave boards and we squashed it. So you still need as much speed as possible with your with your step up board. Yeah. So so we're staying there until it, it, the, the the speed can increase it a bit more yeah. and then we'll go around it pintail. So and and in the last um, couple of seasons mm. we found that the ideal um, size mm board size yeah. to ride these big cyclone soils that yeah. we get in Durban. Yeah. So I'm talking when the beaches are sort of 10 foot on yes. the beachfront. Yeah. And you're really primarily trying to make big barrels. Yes. Um, you need to have a board that's got quite a bit of volume. Yes. And it needs to be in the, like a six, six to your maximum seven, about eight. seven, seven, two yeah. range. Yeah. And um, so the, the, that's what this board really is designed yes. for. It's yeah. not really designed for turns, although yeah. it does it does work nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I surfed Tiffany's on yeah. the on the north coast on this board, which is it's a long um, kind of deep water uh, point break. Yes. And so coming off the bottom, you don't have, have such a heavy uh, a steep wave. Yes. It's a little bit flatter, but it went beautifully into the carbs yes. on yes. fore and, and back end, and, yes. and it even like come squirting off yes. the foam. Yeah. Um, like a small wave board. So yes. Despite it being so narrow, yes. um, it's, it's, it's still turning, yes. which is cool. Yes. Um, this is the board that uh, we, we uh, Kevin Rom um, suggested we try and get some shots of Cave Rock um, from inside the barrel. Yes. And um, we initially put a put, put a GoPro mount on the on the top here, but it was like one of those suction mounts. And uh, within the first session, that thing got blasted off, sure. um, uh, just just because of the force, um, you know, of the waves. So what you, you guys did here is you put a little, you put, it's a normal fin plug, right? Yes. Um, it's a fin plug that went in there. So you screw in this little attachment, the camera goes on there. And we actually got some, got some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice shots of that. We were quite stoked. Nice. Um, so that's what this little contraption is yes, on the yeah, front here. Yeah. Good. So let's have a look at the, the next one in the series, yes. which is the, um, the 7 Se seven oh, right? yes. Yeah. yes. So th this is the 7 missile. Spider, what was the what was the thinking behind this one? So <clears throat> more speed again, and what we did, we just made the rails thicker. We went to three inches, um, it's a little bit wider than normal, just to get you in. And uh, the same concept again, you know, with your, with your missile channels. Um, but this is for maxed out Durban. Yeah. And also um, Cave Rock as well. Yeah. So when, when there's only one or two guys out there, then you pull this out. I'd say 10 the most. So what we did on this board, we gave it a texture deck to just to keep the weight down and also um, to give it strength as well. So we didn't want to sand anything here it's to, just to get your maximum strength. Um, so this has really got those brewer rails. Um, so the deck's flat, that's a brewer, that's, uh, you always did that. And then we, we did a nice curve around like it to follow the bottom curve of the, the flutes. And it, and it foils all the way through into the tail. So, so the, 
the feedback I, I get from the team riders is to, um, to have a volume around this area and also scoop the nose out a little bit. So it just gives it a little bit of yeah. gives it a little bit of um, more performance. And uh, it's a funny thing is, you know, when the, when the noses aren't that thick, what happens is, you know, under pressure they bend a little bit up as well. So it gives you a little bit more rocker when you need it. Um, looking at this board compared mm. to the six eight. Yeah. <coughs> This one just seems to have so much more meat in it. Yes. Is it the three inches that is, yeah. uh, that's making the yes, difference? Yes. You know, if you look at it from the yeah. side, yeah. this is starting to look like some of the big wave guns. It's, yes. it's very, very meaty. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. And that, that sort of, put, it, 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 it comes all the way back through yes. to here. Yes, yeah. Um, the, this board, I've, I've paddled on this yeah. board um, uh, just to, to, to see how it feels because yes. we haven't had that much swell. Yes. But um, it's got incredible, you sit a little bit higher in the water when you're yes, paddling and yes. there's a lot of drive. Yes. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm imagining this thing's going to really yes, grow yes. Um, once, you, yeah. once you put it on the line and you, yeah. and you commit to a wave. You yes. know? So this board's designed to be like an ocean paddler. So you're way out to sea there, yeah. waiting for those, those peaks to draw, those walls to jack up. Yes. And, and this is what you, you out the water, the chop's coming over the rails but you're gliding over the top. It's not that, you know, the chop's not coming over the deck where it's slowing you down in that. Yeah. So you just need every bit of advantage for paddling. This is, this is, this is the whole thing about this board is a good paddler. Because once, you, once you're in, you're going so fast, you know, you've got, you've still got your foil on your rail, so like that, over that black area like that. So that's, that's very foiled. So it's gonna give you your speed. And, and you can still throw them around, you know. Yeah. You, uh, you know you, I, I always jump, jump up on these boards, ride them in like normal conditions, yeah. just to feel them. Yeah. And that's that's a good idea. So when when it, when it, the cyclones do hit, you're ready and you're ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So th this is designed very much for, for <coughs> cyclone barrels yes. or, or, or big yes. winter swells. Yes. Sit a bit further out and, yes. and try and catch the set, get into them early, yes. and then line up that yes. that, that rail to. Yes. To, to get in. And you also got to contend with the rip as well. So, yeah. you know, when you kick out, you've got the rip sucking and you want to just get you get yeah. around, the paddle around that rip so you can yes. get right out to see there, yeah. get into the lineup again and you're ready to go on the next set. Yeah, yeah on the Durban beachfront, when uh, when it is big and the west is blowing mm. like that, that yeah. rip is brutal. Yes. And you spend, yeah. you probably spend 95% of your session <coughs> paddling. Yes. Um, so th hopefully this makes a, a really big difference in, in that. Spider, I wanted to ask you what yeah. you, um, also with the fins on these, this, this type of board, yes. what's the fin recommendation um, in terms of size of fin, flex, that sort of thing? So um, what happens is the fins do drop a little bit in the level there, so it's, it's always wise to stay on large. large. I like large fins, yeah, because you know you want to drive off those fins as well, so when you hit that turn, you don't want to mess around, you want, you, you want to have that, uh, that um, uh, confirmation of the board holding nicely on yeah, the way, yeah. Yeah. so you don't want any and Sean teaches us about in the in the barrel and with that with that foam ball rolling yes. behind you you know you want fins to to grip yeah I love the design on this yes. one as well it's a, a real retro design yes. it's a throwback to uh, like Greg Knoll and Jose yes. Angel yes, and yes. the original and um, sort of YMA yes. Bay, yeah. uh, crew yeah. and a bit of inspiration there which ties in nicely with the, the Hawaiian yes. profile of this board yes and just the chunkiness and it, it's designed to, to, to try and catch big sets and, and make it through thick barrels, right? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, those guys are so brave. I mean, those, those boards are so big and heavy and, uh, and I mean, you get a knock from that on the head, I mean, sure, yeah. it uh, could be devastating. So they've, they, you've got to give them a lot of credit for what they did. Spider, this, this board also, it does feel, it's a 7.0 yeah. from a 6.8 yeah. yeah. and it, it feels quite a bit heavier. Yeah. So what, what contributes to that weight? <clears throat> it's just the thickness of the foam. We're still, we still stuck to the same glassing. Yeah. And um, so you're, so the more foam you have, obviously the, the heavier it feels. Yeah. yeah. So um, but it's a funny thing when you're in the ocean, you know, as you're going to different levels of sizes, it, it, you don't really feel that, yes. that weight. Yeah. And, and the, in terms of the stringer, um, is it the same stringer that's been used in those five what was it? Five, seven, six, eight, and the seven O. So this is a seven mil stringer. Um, on, seven the, on mil. yes. So we have a seven. Uh, this, so this is the maximum um, we can take the seven. So after this, we will go to like a double stringer. Right. So um, your small weight boards are like four point five. Okay. Or even four sometimes. So there's quite a, there is quite a big difference yes. in the stringer. Yes, you have to. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets too it gets too flappy as well, and that yeah, you know, that, that speed and the chops as well. Yeah. They start to vibrate a little bit. I'm really, really looking forward to, yes. to riding this yes. thing and uh, 
having a look up in the Mozambique yes. Channel and across the Mauritius yes. and Reunion, yes. it looks like we the first couple cyclones of the season are starting. Very exciting, up. yeah. So um, very, very. I'm, I'm looking forward to yes. riding this, but and it's been. It's been uh, really awesome developing this over the last couple yes, of years yes. with you. It's, well, it's very interesting. You've taught me a lot about the, the tiny little refinements yes, on the board, which yes. I, I never thought about before. Yes, and also for me, it's something new every day. You know, yeah. otherwise I get bored, you know, and then I want to go and retire, but I don't want to do that. So this has been very exciting, and every time we get a new board, for me too, yeah. I can't wait. Like, uh, I wake up in the morning, I've got a new board, I can't wait to get down there and go and test yeah. it. To, to, to find out what the changes are yeah. going to be and, uh, and you we're, know. We're on, that, uh, on that 6 8, a uh, couple of those sessions when I was, uh, I had one which, you know, you ne you're never quite sure if you're going to make it or not. And yes. sometimes you get that surprising one. Yes. You just hold that line you, yes. and you don't change and, yes. and you come out. Yes. And it's really exciting. And when I saw uh, some the, the videos last year of those ones, I was yes. so amped to share it with you yes. because yes. I know that that's exactly what we designed. Yes, for, exactly, for, you know? and, and the rewards, yeah, yeah money it works so well, and money can't uh, buy you that. You yeah. know, the, those rewards are something yeah, special. So yeah, so yeah. So yeah. nice. So no, good stuff. No, excellent. No, well, well done, Michael. It's been it's a pleasure to work with you, and we've got a lot of exciting things ahead of us. Hey, Spider, tell yeah. me a little bit about um, uh, my my, my uh, Groms or my. Tristan and Damien were yes. asking me about this. Where you came up with the spider logo, is this an evolution of the logo or has it always been like this? Yeah, well, we started off Christmas and did the, the, the first one for us and it's, it's just uh, as, we, as, we, as years go by, we yeah. keep on you know, modifying. Who drew your original spider logo? That, that was Chris Nutson. Chris Nutson? Yeah, oh, yeah. No classic, yeah. I, I still yeah. see Chris, I yes, see him yeah. surfing, I surf with him quite often yes. and longer. So he designed the original spider yes. logo for you? Yeah. What, and then put it on a rice paper, glass into the board? Glass it in, yeah, and then oh, guys, wow. you know, so as, as time went on, you know, different guys came and put the little stripes in there, but yeah. this, this is still the original Chris Nutson spider, yeah. Goodness, yeah. that's yeah. amazing. Amazing, eh? yeah. Um, the other really nice touch that I, I love that you put on the boards is the South African flag. Yes. yes. Um, is this is something new. Uh, that hasn't always been on the boards, right? Um, it's been for a while, but you know, everybody seems to like it. You yeah. know, even even travelling surfers, people from France, everywhere, they just love to take this back home. Yeah. Because you know, I think they relate it to the rugby as well. You yeah. know. So. so on all your export boards yes. in places like Israel and yes. the UK, and that it's all got the South African yes. flag on. Yes. Yes. Hey, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Good. Nice. And and uh, let's just talk about let's just talk about the this logo as well. Spider. Yes. Where did where did this logo come from compared to the spider? So this uh, started off with. Uh, Was this a safari surf shop? Or? Yes. So Max Wetland and Baron Stander started off Safari, yeah. and um, and then Max wanted out. He did his own brand Wetland, yes. And then Baron stayed with that, and then Graham Hines joined uh, Baron. So who were the original the original guys at Safari? So the original guys were Max Wetland, Baron Stander, right. which they eventually sold to Graham Hines. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And and were you involved from the beginning? I was involved from 1972. So uh, Andrew Ogilvie was shaping for. Safari. Safari and then um, Mark Lamont came in for a while and then he eventually want, he, he wanted to start his own brand and I was doing war surfboards at, at the time Yes. so um, and then my partner he wanted out you know he got a little bit so uh, he felt that I think he got a little bit bored and uh, so I joined Graham Hines and yeah. the businesses took off here. Yeah. So how, how many boards do you reckon you shaped sure. over that time if over, you had to estimate? Yeah over a hundred thousand. hundred thousand? Uh, yeah, over, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Spider. Nice, nice Marky. Thanks so it's much. A pleasure yeah. working with you. Eh? Awesome. Thank you.